thank you so much for coming here today. I know we have it here a lot lately, but it's very necessary because so many things are unfolding. If you recall, exactly three weeks ago, we asked Billy's family for permission to dig under his house. He said yes, and well, we're going to go see what's under there right now. So everyone's welcome, and here we're going to go see. All right, Pilly's family, we're here, and well, you said it was okay that we're going to dig under there, and you said that there was a lifetime of stories, memories, and artifacts, and we're going to go see. All right? All right. Enjoy. All right. Let's see. Is everyone ready? Yeah. On the count of three, we're going to dig up this soil. One. Two, three. <gasps> oh my goodness. All right, everyone. This is Pilly's new catacomb. I don't even know what any of these things mean, but if anyone has any ideas, please feel free to step forward. Um, let's see. I don't know. It kind of looks like a little worm or something. Hmm. And this one, that's definitely a volcano. And it's shooting lava. A tree? I don't know what that means. And over here, a volcano again. But it's shooting stuff out of it, like a bunny and a, a bird. A volcano in the middle of MBK and half an FK MBK Mushroom Bowser Kingdom <gasps> Mystical Forest Fire Kingdom An angry volcano and finally a big volcano splurting out stuff in the year Z017 <gasps> 2017 Oh no! Oh no! Everyone remain calm. It's gonna be okay. Well, thank you very much, Toad, for uncovering these hieroglyphics. So now we know what they mean. Sort of. But what's the story? Excuse me? Pilly's family? Will you please come down? Okay, we'll be right there. All right. Okay, so we looked at these hieroglyphics, but what do they mean? Oh, well, we thought you could be able to, you know, find them out yourself, but okay, we'll explain the whole story. Oh, sorry, you don't need to. No, it's okay. We love the story. All right, everyone, sit tight. It's going to be a long day. It all started millions of years ago. When the only things are roaming the world were caterpillars. <laughs> it was amazing back then because we were all the same and we all had everything in common. Hey, do you want to go to the store later? <gasps> to get a new fossil? I love fossils. Back when they had meteors. Oh yeah, I wonder why they don't have meteors anymore. I heard it was because they killed the dinosaurs. Dinosaurs? What's a dinosaur? Something that came before us. Were they caterpillars too? No, maybe some of them were, but not that much. Whatever, I hear the store, they got a new shipment of T-Rexes. I can't wait. Oh, are those the ones with the short arms? You bet you. Let's go. Yeah. The life was perfect. There was no one else there. No electronics. No cars. It was so pure and natural. But all of a sudden, and just out of nowhere, oh yeah, I can't believe it. Yeah, I love Tyrannosaurus Rexes. They're so amazing. What's happening? I don't know. Everything is gone. And the culprit? The volcano.
volcano. <laughs> I get to rule all. Yay! Yay! And then all of a sudden, this happened. <laughs> the volcano erupted again, but there was nothing to kill. So it ended up killing the volcano itself. And then there is nothing there. Wow, Millie. Yep, it was an empty lot. But you know, there's always a plan for everything. So, out of nowhere, the trees started growing. Wow, that's a Christmas tree. Yeah, well, we didn't have anything else. And so the trees started growing. Boop, 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 everywhere. Until there were no animals and no life except for plants. <laughs> and that sound there never heard again, at least for a little bit. But you know, things can't stay the same forever. We're always evolving. So, eventually, the tree had to step over and make room for this again. Volcanoes had come back from the water. From underneath the oceans, they sprouted up, and they were here again. But now, this time, whenever the volcano erupted, it went like this. Are you going to erupt today? Yeah. Aw, oh, I'm getting kind of lonely. Me too. Hey, I got an idea. Mm-hmm. How about whenever I erupt, I erupt an animal. So that way we can have some company. That sounds like a great idea. Yeah, I agree. And that's how it happened. Oh, oh, I feel it coming. <sighs> oh. Hi. But there was no food or anything. So, just like the other time, the plan was remade, and eventually, the tree started blooming fruit. Hmm. But, hey, I don't like berries. I don't like fruit. <laughs> and you know, the cycle of life was happening right there. Everything died off again. And eventually, there was nothing. Wow. So, which one are we up to now? Well, if you look at the diagram, we're up to the one where the animals come out of the volcano. So, step four. And eventually, the volcano started erupting, and it kept erupting its animals. <laughs> But the trees died away. And now, it was only the volcano. Wow. But you know, when the population started growing again, they needed a new home. So they divided the area into three. And this is the Mushroom Bowser Kingdom. Yeah, and this will be the Flower Kingdom. And this, this will be the mystical forest. And now the land was divided into three, with the volcano in the middle as their home base. Ah, oh, this is my home. But you know, when I don't want to be erupted on, I'll go over here, in the flower kingdom. Yeah, and I'll stay over here, in the mushroom bowser kingdom. And I'll be over here, in the mystical forest. And you know, that's how it happened. And eventually, 
everything started growing. And now there's population of all different kinds. Including like what we have today. <coughs> yeah. Everything is kind of how it is today. But then the volcano got angry. <coughs> and everything stayed clear of it. And then the volcano was alone. And this is where our story ends. Wee, 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 wee. Mm-hmm. You said that's where I was, and that's where we are now, when everything was populated. I did say that. And I'm not lying. That's true. Wait. So what happens when the volcano got angry? Well, that leads us into step seven. The big eruption of 2017. And that's going to happen. Presumably, today. Wait, so Melee... You're saying that the volcano's going to erupt today? Yeah, if things go to plan. But what are we supposed to do? I don't know. I'm fine in here. Okay, Kim Dalmians, we're going to have to stop this time. We're going to have to try to lock up the volcano and make sure that it doesn't harm anyone. Wait a minute. Did you say the volcano was angry? Yeah. Well, why do you think it's angry? I don't know. I never asked. Hmm. I think I'm going to have a little chat with the volcano. Excuse me. All right, you give me the silent treatment? Hmm. All right, just hear me out. Are you going to erupt today? Depends. Are you going to be here today? Yeah. Then yes, I am going to erupt. But why? Why are you angry? Because. Because why? Well, here, why don't you sit down? Right? I'm listening. Alright, well, a long time ago, it was just me and the tree. And then we decided that we were lonely, so we brought some animals into the world. But they, they overran us. And it wasn't our world anymore. So, well, you know, I kind of, I want to make it back how it was before. It's just me and a tree. And there's no one else there. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to kill everyone off. Well, that's not necessary, is it? No, I guess not. But how else am I supposed to get the world to myself? Well... You know what? You know what the best part of evolution is? What? That it always has a plan for us. Even if we don't know what's going to happen next or we're not happy with the result, it's going to happen no matter what. And I can almost guarantee you that you're going to love some aspect of the new society. So, you may not like that there are so many people now, but if you're going to erupt... And you're going to bring more people into the world. You're just going to harm us even more. I know. That's why I stopped it. Now there are no more animals going to erupt from my, my little hole. It's just going to be a lava. And it's just going to kill everyone. Hey! <laughs> but you really want to kill everyone? But what if they kill you? That's what you're trying to avoid, right? Animals and everything overrunning you. And you don't like that, do you? No, I don't like when I'm in power. Well, how do you think we feel? You're just going to kill us without having any say for us? I guess you're right. Why should you have to suffer just because I'm unhappy? We can work out a deal, can't we? I suppose we can. Okay. Well, here, how about this? If you're unhappy because there's so many people... We'll stay clear of your area. You are in the middle, so we'll just leave in our three areas, and you get the whole middle to yourself, you and the tree. But then I'm going to be lonely. But you just said that you want to be alone. Yeah, but you brought up a good point. Evolution, it brings so many fun things, so many interesting creatures, that I kind of want to be a part of it. 
Well, how about this then? Are you very... Are you... Is this hollow in there? Yeah, when there's no lava. Well, how about this? Can you turn your lava off? Yeah. All right then. Now there's nothing in there. And how about this? We'll make a town hall inside of you. And that way you can always be a part of it. And you can always be listening and interacting with us. How does that sound? That sounds amazing. But how are you going to fit? Don't worry. We have some magical things. We can just make you bigger or we can make us smaller. And then we'll have this in the center of all three of our kingdoms. And it'll be absolutely incredible because you're just going to be in the center of it all. Center of attention. But also, when you want to be in some alone time, you can have it. That sounds amazing. Well, I'm so glad. Here. Oh, yay. Don't worry, there's always a solution for everything. Yay. Well, everyone, I think we're safe. What happened, Daisy? Well, I talked to the volcano, and he said that we're going to work out a deal where he's going to be in the center of attention, but he can also be alone if he wants to. It's a kind of big old story, and I'll tell you later. But for right now, I think we need to celebrate. Millie, I'm still kind of curious. What would have happened if we hadn't saved this day? Oh, well, let's see. All right, let's see. All right, so the volcano is in the middle of everything. And then... You never took a 
bullet. And I'm going to erupt animals. And it's going to kill you. And going to kill me. And our plan is going to be ruined because there will be animals all over the place. And we'll be happy. <laughs> Nothing's working. I'm a volcano. I meant to do this. Come on, on the count of three, go! We did it! Hooray! We saved the day! Well, wait. That was the other one. We just did the volcano. Uh oh. <coughs> hieroglyphics in your catacomb. Why didn't you ever warn us? Well, I don't know. It wasn't really our concern. We thought it would just be like how the other years you go up, bring a new animal, and fall back down. Well, whatever the case, we're safe now, and it's all thanks to Pilly, and it's all thanks to you, Millie, for telling us this story. Thank you so much. And, King Domians, I think this calls for a town hall meeting inside of our new town hall. In between the three new kingdoms, well, not new, but it's a new big grand kingdom, the Mushroom Bowser Kingdom, the Flower Kingdom, the Mystical Forest, and in the center, the Volcano. And I can't wait. It's going to be a great summer. And I can't wait for all the fun memories. And remember, Pilly is the start of summer. And I guess that means it started. I hope you enjoyed this special. And it couldn't be possible without Pilly. And we want to say, well, we built Pilly a new home. Pilly was lost and we found him. And now we found Pilly's new catacomb. And, well, we'll see you next year. Oh, how I miss Pilly. He's not gone. He's just somewhere else in the world. I think I saw Pilly. You did? You did? <gasps> you did? Where? I don't know. He was just flying around or something. It was a green butterfly. <gasps> that must be Pilly. Pilly! 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 Oh, can't believe it! Hi! I don't know why you're all so upset. I'm still in the world. But you know what I decided? They've been world traveling for a whole year. And I'm tired. So I'm just going to live in the kingdom if that's okay with you. But what about your new home? Yeah. Oh, I keep falling over because I'm just so excited. Well, I can move my home. And I'll move it right into the kingdom. That way we can all live happily ever after together. Oh, Pilly, you would do that. I can't believe it. Oh! Yeah, I mean, you are my family. This is where I belong. And as fun as traveling was, I could never top the Mushroom Bowser Kingdom. Nothing could ever top the Mushroom Bowser Kingdom. Thanks, Millie. Thanks, Millie, for teaching us about the hieroglyphics. But you know what? I'm here now. And, well... I'll be here 
for the rest of my life. I can't believe it. I know we've been making such a big deal about you every year because we thought you were gone. But if you're here... Oh, don't worry, I still want the special anniversaries. Oh, okay. I'm just kidding. Thanks so much for making me feel welcome. And, you know, I'll be here for the rest of my days.